Oh, I don't even want to think of an answer to this question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore. Like these are tough questions to answer. What's up, this is Keshi and I'm here with 17 for Red Receipts. This is essentially phone truth or dare. I can either answer an embarrassing question or choose to ignore it and do a dare instead. Reply, um, I have to think. <laughs> I don't know, like maybe six or seven people. I'll be on the safe side and say six. Oh, I guess I do it so often. I can't remember when the last time I lied was. I'll just say, I'll just say ignore. My most recent selfie. Hopefully then it's not like too bad. <laughs> I actually can't show that, that one. Can I do my second most recent selfie? I don't take selfies that often. I don't really enjoy it. Anytime I do it, it does kind of go up. So this one's kind of no harm, no foul. Like it's. This one right here, it did go up on Instagram. So like, I'm safe here. The other one is just like, no, I can't do, I can't show that. Oh, reply. My biggest insecurity is my weight. I've always been like a really skinny kid growing up. I just like don't like spending time eating. Like my parents have to like yell at me to eat basically and like force me to stay at the table, but I would much rather just ran off and done something else. I would much rather be playing games or like making music. I feel personally like I love eating, like I love good food and stuff, but I would much rather just like have a, a wish granted that said like I don't have to eat ever again. Uh, reply, my biggest fear has and always will be being alone. I've always been really afraid of being alone ever since I was a kid. Like I, I don't like the idea of like not finding a partner or like ending up with someone or like dying alone. I don't know why, it's just irrational, I guess. But yeah, that's my biggest fear. Ooh, the biggest mistake I've ever made. Damn. Like these are tough questions to answer. I am gonna say ignore, but only because I feel like everything I've done in this life has like led me here. Like I don't really think that like I've made a mistake so terrible, not worth having, so I'll ignore. I don't really make playlists that often. I keep one main one and um, it's called In My Rotation, but that's not that interesting of an answer. I'd rather give you the title of the playlist that I added most recently, Electric Blues Classics. Um, I was in a very BB King sort of like phase and it's, it's right here. So you got like a nice little cover of BB King on there. So yeah. Uh, reply, I'd say two. There were two people that I've like really been in love with. Oh, reply. The last time I cried, <sighs> oh my God. Okay, so the last time that I cried was when I was on a trip to LA. I go out to work in LA every so often, but this time it was for like a longer period of time. I was gearing up for like music video and tour and stuff. And I was supposed to stay there for a month. Usually when I come to LA, I buy enough groceries for like a week or like two. And I had to think about my timeline in LA and I realized like I would have to like spend a lot more time in LA than I thought. And I do get homesick kind of easily, but the thing was I was going on tour like afterwards too. So that would be a month in LA and then two months on the road. And then I thought that I wouldn't be able to like see my family or like be in my own bed for three months. So it was the first time that I would be doing something like that. So I got a little emotional like at the grocery store. And then when I got back, I kind of just like, I, I let loose a little bit. So I, I cried when I got back to the Airbnb. So yeah, that was the last time I cried. What is the weirdest thing about me? This is just like, I feel like this is a question that you ask like someone who knows you because they know it like objectively. The weirdest thing about me is probably how kind of, it's not like supreme OCD, but I am very like, so like if you're driving like on the highway and you pass like a lot of signs, I have to like blink at every sign. Like it's like weird things like that. Or if I'm like walking and there's tiles on the floor, like I can't step on the lines. I have to like step on the tiles themselves and I have to skip every other one. Like it's just like, weird. In the same vein, if I'm humming music, but I can't hum, I'll use my teeth. And I know that sounds really weird, but like, you know how you can move your jaw in like front and back? So like for the music nerds, I do it in like five intervals, like from one to five. So uh, 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 And I will play music in the car with my teeth. I think that's kind of weird. What is my grossest habit? I don't even want to think of an answer to this question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore. <laughs> The last text that I sent was a picture of a menu for a ramen place that we literally just got back from and it was delicious and heavy. I'm still full from it. Um, it looks like this. I guess there's like some free promo in here. I got the mega paitang, which is uh, like this super creamy like onion 
filled mess of like tonkatsu and char siu, like ramen, it was ridiculously delicious. That was a little embarrassing, but um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. Look out for my debut album, Gabriel. I hope you enjoy it. And okay, wait before I go, one last reveal. Um, the most embarrassing music that I listen to. It would probably be like more and more like anime music. Sometimes that like it bumps, you know? Sometimes you just want to listen to that stuff. It's like super hype. It's fun to put on in the gym sometimes. Like you're seeing all these dudes pumping iron and like cute anime girls are like in your ear. It's sick.